How much fucking discrimination I've lived through, sir? How many fucking years? Do you know how hard it is to deal with being a ginger fucking koala? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all. Now! Sorry. It's gonna be a stage of love. Deep love. Intense love. Matter. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Keith, the anger management koala, and uh, I travel the world teaching people about anger management and how to deal with deal with their shit, basically. Uh, now, Emma, is this on? It'd be nice if we could turn this up. Because tonight, we have something very special for you all. Ah, yes. Now, as I said, normally I teach people about anger management, but it is my return to Perth. So, instead, what we're doing, we're gonna force this shit down. <laughs> we're gonna bring it down here. And I get amongst you people, because you, madam, Tell me, have you ever been serenaded by a gigantic ginger koala before? <laughs> you can't say you have. Have you ever been serenaded at all? No. No. Has anyone here ever been serenaded before? Yes, you have, sir. Are you aware of the basic concept behind a serenade? Oh, it's a sexual Would you like to share it with everyone here as to how a serenade essentially works? You wouldn't. Well, that's not fucking helping my act very much right now, is it? Thank you very fucking much. You and your fucking dreadlocks can fuck right off. Right, madam, the basic concept with a serenade is essentially a man or koala sings about how gorgeous a woman is, how adorable, how she is but his son and stars and all that sort of shit. Um, this serenade is nothing fucking like that whatsoever. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, koalas actually have double dicks. Are you, is this something you're aware of? No, you are now though, and you're looking, aren't you? Are you also aware that uh, about 80% of koalas have chlamydia? No, well, you're going to learn about that one later on as well. It's the gift that keeps giving. Now, this is definitely on, isn't it, Emma? Good. Ah, we can all hear me. You know what, fuck the microphone, because I'm loud and obnoxious and ginger enough to do this without <laughs> Now, madam, I strongly believe in a woman's right to choose, and particularly to choose my double dicks. Um, so henceforth, I'd like to sing you a song about me so you can learn about me and some of the choices I've made in my life and you can decide whether or not you think I'm an appropriate sexual partner. Is that okay by you? Fantastic. This is quite a fucking experience for you right now, isn't it? You just came out for a nice night of comedy and all of a sudden you've got a gigantic fucking ginger koala screaming shit at you, sweating like some sort of sex pest watching a playground. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm just gonna sing this shit. Hey there, pretty girl, sitting in my second row. You seem oh so sweet with your gorgeous hair and your dainty feet. But I'm not sure I could be your koala. There's some things you don't understand. See, this ginger beast has done some shit you'd probably find obscene. Maybe your freaky girl will have to wait and see. Let me list the things I've done. You might still be keen. Because <laughs> I've lied to fat people about losing weight. Once they did orgasm for an ugly girl called Kate. I throw pennies between homeless men. I only did it proof I was richer than them. <laughs> I've tried to put my dicks in things they wouldn't fit. I'm a psycho. I'm a psycho. I'm a psycho. I'm criminally, criminally insane. I've kicked a ten-year-old in the head. Little witch deserved it. Just that. 
don't fucking dead! And I know it's not something I should share. But for years now I've collected my ex-girlfriend's hair. <laughs> so tell me now, pretty girl, look into the door. Are you coming home with me or do I wrestle you to the floor? <laughs>